Hey everyone, Sarah here from Lafix. Got another video for you guys today. We got this interesting one. Um, it's a liquid spill. It's a MacBook Pro M1 a liquid spill. I have it open already because I was taking a look at it, but I saw something and I was like, oh, it's pretty interesting. So let's let's make a video, right? You guys want to see the funny videos for it, right? Or, hey man, this is America's Funniest Home Videos, but at least it'll be Lafix home, Funniest Home Videos, at least for today. Okay. Anyways, besides that, well, it's in here for because it's in here for repair, obviously, because there's liquid damage. Um, there's no obvious corrosion that's actually on the board because we did do a scan on there really to see if there was anything actually going on with the logic board itself there. But we did notice, um, we did take this out, and this isn't the only problem with it here. We have the USB-C connection. Oh, yeah. Yep, well, we have this USB-C connection. You can see it looks really bad. See that? Especially on the right side, it's corroded pretty bad on there and um on the back too so at least we see that there was liquid there there wasn't any liquid around the USB-C ic area that we that we noticed no corrosion there doesn't seem to really be a problem with that area um especially there was a little bit on top of the board like where the fan is but there wasn't anything too major i did notice that there was a little bit more liquid damage uh, close to where the bluetooth area is right that's the bluetooth is wireless uh, the wi-fi connection on the other side there is actually uh, on the other side there's actually wi-fi antennas uh there. What, what's the solution really to fix it? So I do have another USB-C um, port just to go ahead and use it for testing. So let's see what we get. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, right? Because I don't see anything obvious, but what is my voltage? What am I getting here? So we see we're getting about five volts and then it's going back down. It's going up and it's going back down. That's about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 amps around there. And um, yeah, so let's actually go into the thermal cam because that's kind of why I want to show you guys uh, what's going on. Uh, let me hit the thermal cam up and let's go close to where the liquid spill happened, right? And I, I want to see what's going on there. I'm going to go ahead and plug in and I have it. Let's see. Oh, come on. Okay. So let's put it under the thermal cam. And we see close to where the Wi Fi area is, right? The Wi Fi chip, that there is something actually pulsating there, right? And that looks to be uh, like it's something bad, right? So. Let's go under the microscope and take a look at it. Okay, so here's our problem area. So it looks to be a little bit cracked there. Part of it actually coming off. Uh, maybe even this one as well. Uh, I wanna see um, if we remove this, what's gonna happen next, right? I see this, this is actually gonna come off when we loosen this up with some heat. It's just gonna actually uh, kind of lift off a little bit and um, you'll see, I'll peel it a little bit as we go. But let's actually go ahead and put a little bit of flux and then uh, see what happens there and remove it, right? It was a little bit too much. Oh, give me that back. Okay. So watch. As I do it, it's going to probably peel a little bit. It feels more like rubber now when I put a little bit of heat to it. So this is it removed. It seems to be stuck. See that? Look how nasty that is. Let's go look at the symptoms now without it. Okay, so I got that in. Let's go check the voltage now on it. See if it changes. There was like five volts before. It kept going up and down. Hopefully we can get our 20. Let's see. So five volts going up. Oh, there's 20 volts. All right, 0 0.06, 0 0.05. Um, for these, these are the M1 model. When you press the power button, it should go up in ampage for, for that. Otherwise, it kind of stays at like a, a simple 20. We want to make sure that we actually put back that component because it's going to have something to do with, right, the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi most likely because of how close it is. So, oh, man, the camera's down here. Oh, that's okay. But you guys probably want to see the board anyway, right? But let's go ahead and actually just replace the component there, and I think that should be good. We So put it back. See, it was a little bit sticky there. It had a little bit of goop there. Nothing too crazy. It's got. Uh, I don't think it really matters on the voltmeter. We needed to see if it turns on. I wonder if it's going to turn on because the battery's already plugged in. But let's see. I think it should go to turn on. All right. And there's an Apple logo. And it looks good. Power looks good. 
So that was a short there. Okay, so as you can see, the Wi-Fi is actually working, which is good. That's connected. Uh, go to, I guess, hey look, we have a mail and repair. Imagine that. Yep. So that's working. Uh, now, one other thing. Um, let's go to my screen capture. So I was really curious. Well, we want to see what the problem was with that run, right? So this is CL012, and looks like um, this one over here is, obviously this one's ground, so we don't care about that. But this one is PB3B3S2WLBTI sense. So uh, BT, I assume what? What's that? Looks like it's probably Bluetooth, right? Probably something with the Bluetooth connection, which makes sense because if you connect it right here, there's probably something going on with it right around here. WLAN, WLAN, right? So some 3 So we do have internet connectivity. And let's go ahead and check actually the Bluetooth connection. That'd be interesting too. Okay, so I have this Bluetooth on right here. And obviously I don't want to show anything. I want to make sure it connects to the box right here because uh, this is a Bluetooth audio. Let's go ahead and see if that's going to go out of work. You hear that? It's coming from this. All right, so Bluetooth looks good. Wi-Fi looks good. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing uh, MacBook Pro M1. Um, obviously with liquid spill, we able to do a fix for it. Everything looks to be good. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, power, everything looks great. It's good here. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like. This helps a lot. We do lots of liquid spill repairs, data recoveries, lots of cool things on this channel. You should definitely go ahead and check that out. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.